Hey guys, what's going on? Drew here with Dipros America, and today I'm going to be bringing you a review over Skull Straight Long Cut. We uh, got this for a request from Skylar Brady, probably like two weeks after we started the channel. He, um, he's been with us from the start, and he requested that we do this, and we overlooked that one at the time. We just got so caught up with new dips and just kind of starting out the channel and trying to get as many uploads in as we possibly could, and we overlooked this and forgot about it until he re-requested it like uh, two weeks ago. And um, uh, we picked this up whenever the night that me and Eric made that uh, Levi Garrett video. And it's been sitting around. I've been waiting for a good time to do it. Uh, if you've not seen the... Uh, well, I'll get to that later. Right now, let's just get to the review. So, for the presentation, it is kind of a boring looking can, guys. Um, I mean, Skull redid all of their main flavors. They got the flashy lettering, they have those um, hexagon shapes up there, and the color is just kind of, it's sort of a brown, it's sort of a red, it's, I mean it's a maroon, really. Just that maroon color all the way around. I really like the Copenhagen straight can. It was a real deep bright red with gold lettering. Um, I just I just love that. The rustic, old-fashioned look. Uh, this is just kind of, kind of flashy, but with a boring color, so not that impressed with that. <clears throat> the date on this is it's all by May 18th, so um, should be pretty good stuff. But um, I've initially I haven't cracked it all the way, but I did make a little sliver like I always do just to get the initial smell. And uh, I am kind of getting that sweet straight flavor. I can't really describe straights. I I don't know exactly. They're kind of just a category by themselves. They're not natural. They're not. Um, like wintergreen, obviously, they're, they're, it's kind of a sweet, kind of derived from natural, but not really. I don't know how to describe it. If you guys have a good way of describing what a straight is exactly, let me know. But um, for now, I'm just going to categorize it as a straight smell. But I kind of get a little, I know this is weird, but a root beer-like scent um, under all that. I mean, I could smell the straight, smell that it's a little sweet, and then you kind of get candy-ish like root beer. So, um, I don't know, that's kind of weird, but we'll see if the taste um, crosses over. We'll go ahead and crack this. With skull cans are always pretty easy to crack. At least till you get the receipt. I don't have nails. Let's see what she looks like. So yeah, pretty dark stuff. Um, not filled all the way to the brim. Almost. I forget. I haven't had skull in a while since the... Uh, since the um, flavor video, so I forget if they pack all the way. I would think with them being under U.S. smokeless, they would leave out that little God's pinch like Copenhagen, but not really. Well, sort of. Sort of. I don't know, but let's go ahead and dive in and get us a pinch. Pinchability is great. I grabbed a big old chunk of it, as you can see. So we'll see what that's like. Always make a fucking mess on my first pants. Every goddamn time. Well, right off the bat, I can taste the sweetness a little bit. This is the first straight I've had in probably like two weeks. Because I've been doing like the Copenhagen Blacks and um, Levi Garrett and stuff like that. Not really gotten a chance to do a straight. I mean, you got to keep in mind, this is my uh, third straight that I've ever had. I had Grizzly Straight a long time ago, but I wouldn't even consider that my first real straight. Because I was an inexperienced dipper. I was very inexperienced with... Um, loose dip that wasn't in pouches. I know, I was that kind of beginner. But, um, yeah, I just, it was just going everywhere. I almost got sick from it. This was Grizzly Straight, by the way. And um, I just didn't like it all that much. And then my second straight that I did was Copenhagen Straight. The first time I did that was on the video review. Go check that out if you haven't seen it. But I love Copenhagen Straight. And what I'm getting from this is kind of a similar flavor. You can tell that it's sweet, and um, Copenhagen has a real, real great taste. You kind of—I can't describe it really. It's just one of those things you 
Um, notice when you dip Copenhagen, it's kind of a molasses seed. I mean, it seems like the quality of Copenhagen is so good. And this is, this is pretty similar. I mean, these guys were made by the same company. Let me show it here. U.S. Smokeless. So, um, they're going to be similar in some ways, more or less. But you kind of get a candy-like taste from this. It almost seems a little sweeter than uh, Copenhagen Strait. Copenhagen Strait's pretty bold. It, um, it's going to jump out at you a little more. If you like a straight flavor, you got to do Cope Strait. That's probably the best out there. From what I've heard, and obviously I'm not very experienced with Straits all around the board, but um, Cope Strait's awesome. This stuff is pretty good. I'm liking it. It is a little sweeter. Not as bold, like I said. Um, I would definitely buy this again. You know, if if they didn't have Copenhagen straight or something, I would always go for that first if I wanted a straight. But um, this stuff isn't all that bad. Um, I could definitely tell Skyler that uh, you like this stuff. I would do it again in a heartbeat. But, um, yeah, I like this stuff a whole lot. The presentation is boring and everything. The pinchability is fantastic. Um, a lot like Copenhagen Long Cut. I mean, the cut's pretty much the same. The can is pretty much filled to the brim. Yeah, guys, it's good stuff. Good smell. It was like... I'm, got, I'm gonna guess it was like 3 69 It was pushing $4. I've been paying for dip in cash recently, so I don't get the receipt, and I... I, I get a bunch at a time, so I forget exactly what it is, um, what the price is, but it's pushing $4, which is on the higher end, about the same as uh, Copenhagen. But, I mean, it is the best quality. Skull is the best-selling uh, dip in the United States, as far as I know, um, next to Copenhagen and Grizzly. So it is going to be pretty good quality stuff. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give this an overall rating. And I would have to rate this at an 8. I'm going to give Skull Straight Long Cut an 8. I gave Copenhagen Long Cut a 9. Copenhagen Long Cut Straight a 9. It's because I like that flavor a lot more. There's something about Copenhagen and the quality of it that is just it's so amazing. Um, you Copenhagen dippers can uh, relate. But uh, this is a little sweeter. I mean, sometimes I like a sweeter dip. Sometimes I like a bolder dip. But this is definitely a little on the sweeter side. At least in my opinions. I'd love to hear what you guys think. But um, that's the review for that. I'm going to give that an 8. So I'm going to do, I'm going to kind of revisit the update. Um, I hope you guys saw our update video that we did yesterday. It was the first one we did with the channel. We introduced our friend Noah to the channel. He's been wanting to uh, get in a video. And we had a great opportunity where we could go outside. We had a big ass fire that we made. Um. We were just able to mess around a little bit, but for those of you who did see the video, I want to apologize for the vertical view. I was just filming with my camera, and I didn't realize until we were halfway through that um, I had done that. And when I viewed it on my phone, it looks fine, but when you view it on YouTube, it's all shaky and adjusting. I mean, you could tell when I'm moving right here that the camera will kind of wave and adjust, and I hate that about the iPhone camera. I, if you guys know how to fix that, or I think it's just built in that the camera is going to follow you. And follow your movements. And I don't like that. It's real distracting when you make a video because the iPhone video here on the iPhone capture doesn't really um, cover the whole screen. It kind of cuts it off a little bit and it'll wave if you're not completely centered in the um, video. So hopefully down the road we'll be able to invest in a newer camera that doesn't really do that. It records in real good quality. And um, hopefully it sounds pretty good too. It sounds alright on this, I think. Um, but yeah, I, I want to tell you guys, this will probably be one of our last reviews, unless Eric's got something, until our uh, spring break trip. If you watched the video, and if you watched Eric's Skull Bandit's video, he, uh, we kind of elaborated on that. We're going on a seven-day cruise on the Allure of the Seas, the biggest cruise ship in the world. Um, we're leaving from Fort Lauderdale on Sunday the 23rd, so next Sunday. And we'll be going to Labadee, Haiti, Falmouth, Jamaica, Cozumel, Mexico, and then back to Fort Lauderdale. It'll be a seven-day trip, so from the 23rd to the 30th. 
we're definitely going to film some videos there, but we're not going to be able to upload them, I don't believe, until we get back. Because you got to pay for Wi-Fi when you're on the ship, and with us being overseas, we're not going to worry about using data. That'll just make our phone bills, it'd just be ridiculous. So we're going to wait until probably the 31st, will that be the 31st or the 1st? I don't know. We're going to wait till um, the Monday after we get back to do any uploading or anything. The ship is going to be really awesome. The scenery will be beautiful, so I think you guys will like that. Outdoors, obviously, and we got some. Uh, we have a special dip that is available in Florida. We're not going to tell you exactly what it is, but you may already know. We won't release the uh, name of that dip. It'll be kind of a surprise, but we're really excited about that. And uh, we'll probably give you guys a ship tour or whatever, just us walking around, but. If you guys want to see anything in particular while we're on that ship, or if you want to see anything at all, maybe it's a miniature slideshow of pictures in a video, or um, you just want to see some different things on the ship, please comment. Please either comment on our update video, or the Skull Bandits video, or this video, and let us know what you guys want to see, or if you want to see anything at all from that trip. But yeah, we'll be out of the loop, I guess, until once we get back unless Eric's got another review I probably won't review until we're on there it's gonna be a real busy week next week um, getting everything situated uh, making sure we got all of our arrangements correct paying for the excursions and then we gotta make sure we have everything we need for the trip and getting packed we were gonna fly down there but our travel agent couldn't find a flight that didn't arrive the day of and we didn't want to cut that close on time so we're gonna be driving down there and that's an 18 hour trip so yeah, that'll be hell. But once we're on the ship, we'll record some videos, show you guys some content, and I'll get it back to you as soon as we get back in the States. But yeah, guys, that's my review and uh, miniature update. Just leave some comments, tell us what you want to see, and we'll be able to bring it to you guys um, without a doubt. So uh, this is Drew with Dip Rose America. Thanks for tuning in, guys.